is cloud engineering still worth it in 2024? That's what we're diving into today. We'll look at the current state of the cloud industry, the challenges, and also the opportunities. And I've been in the tech industry for over a decade, and I have my own cloud education academy and my own cloud security business. So whether you are a beginner or an experienced engineer, then this video is going to be for you. Before we get started, check out my weekly cloud newsletter where I share free resources, tutorials, boot camps, and so much more helping you make your cloud move. All right, let's break down what is happening in cloud engineering right now and why it matters to you. Firstly, the big picture. The cloud market is growing. We're talking a 1.6 trillion market by 2030. That is huge. And it means one thing, which is opportunity. So whether you're just starting out or you're an experienced engineer, there's never really been a better time to be in the cloud. Now, in 2023 alone, there were 310,000 cloud computing jobs posted. And that's not just a number. That's 310,000 chances for you to land a great job or level up your career. And I was speaking with my students inside of my Cloud Engineer Academy. And we all noticed that on average, there are about two to 300 jobs per day related to cloud being posted on LinkedIn. Now, of course, they do vary based on experience, but it shows you that it is a growing field. Now let's talk about what's shaping the future of cloud engineering. Firstly, and unsurprisingly, AI and machine learning. 40% of companies are ramping up AI and ML in the cloud. Then we've got edge computing. And this market is also growing fast, expected to hit 87.3 billion by 2026. It's all about bringing processing power closer to where the data is created. And finally, a lot of companies are also using multi cloud platforms. Now for beginners, it's important to have a roadmap where you will work towards building an understanding of these areas. And this won't happen overnight. You need to take your time. Don't rush anything and become a lifelong learner. All right, let's talk about how the role of cloud engineers is changing. And trust me, this is where things get really exciting. First up, we are seeing a shift from infrastructure to platform engineering. Well, what does this actually mean? Well, instead of just setting up servers and networks to host and run applications, we're now building entire platforms that other developers can use to deploy and scale their applications. Now for beginners, this means learning about concepts like infrastructure's code and containerization. And for experienced engineers, it's time to start thinking about how to design scalable and self-service platforms. Now, this is something I'm also seeing startups adopt as well. In fact, when I was working with my previous client, who was Europe's fastest growing EV charger manufacturer, I helped them build and implement a self-service platform for their developers through pipelines, automation, and tooling. So developers could use what they need in order to deliver features faster. Next, there is an increased focus on security and compliance. With major data breaches making headlines every other week, companies are realizing that cloud security isn't just an IT issue, it's a business critical concern. And if you can position yourself as someone who understands both cloud architecture and security best practices, you'll be in high demand. Now for beginners, you want to start learning about security fundamentals, which is why I always tell my students inside of my Cloud Engineer Academy to double down on security and compliance because the need to keep systems, environments, applications, platforms secure and compliant is one thing that will never change. And no matter what technology comes out, that always needs to be secure and compliant with regulations. Lastly, there is a need for cross-functional skills. This is increasing. It's not enough to just know cloud engineering on its own anymore. For example, getting a certification and also knowing how to use some of the common services via the console. You need to understand DevOps practices, have an understanding on AI and how to use it in the cloud. And you also need to be able to code. This might sound overwhelming, but here is the opportunity. By developing these cross-functional skills, you make yourself invaluable. As a beginner, I still recommend doubling down on cloud engineering as a whole. So your programming, your infrastructure's code, your DevOps, CICD pipelines, and building projects. But then with each project that you build, you wanna try and work with a new set of technologies, like security, like AI, 
like data analytics. So focus on the core and then experiment with the new. Over time, you will become a well-rounded cloud engineer who can wear multiple hats. And this will happen, but with time. So you need to be patient. As you become well-rounded, you will learn what you like doing and then you can double down on that area and build your specialization. For experienced engineers, think about how you can integrate these skills with your existing technical expertise. Now, before we dive deeper into the growing world of cloud engineering, let's talk about one of the companies making cloud engineering accessible to everyone. And that is DigitalOcean, who have kindly sponsored this video. Now, as we discuss the future of cloud engineering, it's important to understand the platforms that are shaping the future. DigitalOcean stands out by offering solutions for developers and SMBs at every stage of their journey. So if you're just starting out, their Cloudways platform offers simple, hassle-free hosting for your first cloud projects. If you're ready to focus purely on your application without worrying about the infrastructure, their application platform provides a serverless-like experience. And for those diving into the world of containerization, DigitalOcean's managed Kubernetes service has got you covered. Now, what sets DigitalOcean apart is their focus on simplicity and clear pricing. No nasty surprises when your bill comes. And for those who don't know, when I first got started with cloud engineering all those years ago, I first played around with DigitalOcean. So being able to work with them on this YouTube channel is a dream. DigitalOcean has great documentation and a supportive community, make it an ideal platform for both learning and building real world projects. Now on the 9th of July, DigitalOcean is running their deploy event. It's a virtual conference packed with expert talks, case studies, and networking opportunities. At DigitalOcean Deploy, you will learn more on how businesses are using DigitalOcean to build and scale the applications. Now to find out more and register for the deploy event, check out the link in my bio of this video. Okay. Cloud engineering isn't all sunshine and rainbows. There are some serious challenges that you need to be prepared for. This means you need to be committed to continuous learning. Set aside time each week to stay updated on the latest trends and technologies. The complexity of cloud ecosystem is also increasing. We're dealing with multi-cloud environments, hybrid setups, and intricate service meshes. Now for beginners, this means starting with a solid foundation in cloud basics before diving into advanced concepts. And for experienced engineers, it's about developing a systems thinking approach to manage this complexity. Cybersecurity threats are also a major concern. As more systems become interconnected, they also become more vulnerable. Understanding security best practices isn't just a nice to have. It is essential. But here is where it gets exciting. With challenges also come incredible opportunities. Emerging fields like quantum computing and blockchain in the cloud are opening entirely new career paths. If you can get in early and develop expertise in these areas, you'll be setting yourself up for some serious high paying roles, although these areas are fairly new. There's also a growing demand for specialist areas like cloud security and FinOps, which is the financial operations in the cloud. And let's not forget about entrepreneurship and consulting, because as businesses struggle to navigate the complex world of cloud engineering, they're willing to pay really good money for expert guidance. Now, I've seen firsthand how lucrative this can be. It's how I built my own cloud security consulting business. And for beginners, these opportunities mean you can start positioning yourself now for these high demand areas. And for experienced engineers, it's time to think about how you can leverage your expertise to either climb the corporate ladder or strike your own path. All right, let's talk about what you really need to know to stay on top of your game in cloud engineering. This is the stuff that will make you stand out from the crowd. First up, continuous learning and adaptation. I can't stress this enough. In cloud engineering, if you're not learning, then you're falling behind. The cloud landscape changes faster than you can say serverless architecture. So how the heck do you keep up? You wanna set aside time every single week. And I'm talking at least five hours to learn something new. You can literally just do 30 minutes a day. But here is the thing, technical skills alone won't cut it. Soft skills are just as important. You need to be able to communicate complex technical concepts to non-technical stakeholders. You need to be a problem solver, able to think on your feet when things go wrong. And trust me, 
in the cloud, things will go wrong. Collaboration is key too. You'll be working with diverse teams. So being able to play well with others is a non-negotiable. So we've looked at the market trends, the evolving roles, the challenges, and also the opportunities. But a big question remains, is cloud engineering still worth it? Let's weigh the pros and also the cons. On the pro side, the cloud industry is growing with projections showing continued growth. Salaries are high and they continue to rise. And there are also a shortages of skilled professionals, meaning there are job opportunities. Now on the con side, the rapid pace of change means constant learning, which can be difficult. It can also be a high stress environment, especially when you're dealing with outages or security breaches. And let's not forget the current economic climate means it's harder to find jobs as more people are competing for the same roles. And companies are also slowing down hiring. Now, let me give you my personal perspective. I've been in this field for years and I can tell you without a doubt that cloud engineering is not just worth it. It's one of the best career choices that you can make right now because it's the platform that allows the innovation for all these new technologies. I genuinely love this field so much. It's changed my life and it can change yours as well. Yes, it's challenging. Yes, it requires constant learning, but that's what makes it exciting. Every day I wake up knowing I'll be solving complex problems and working with technologies that are shaping the future. The financial rewards are great, but it's the intellectual stimulation and the impact that you can really have that makes this career worthwhile. Now I've seen firsthand how cloud technologies are transforming businesses and industries. And the best part is that we're still in the early stages. The opportunities in areas like AI integration and cloud security are just beginning to unfold. Now remember, it is difficult to break in right now because the competition is high due to the layoffs that have been happening. But when there is a downtrend, there's also going to be an uptrend. So if you start preparing right now, taking one day at a time, you'll be in a great position when things start to change. Change. So is cloud engineering worth it in 2024? Well, if you're passionate about technology, if you love learning, and if you want a career that offers both financial stability and a chance to make a real impact, then my answer is a resounding yes. But remember, the success in this area and any area in technology doesn't come easy. It requires dedication, continuous learning, and the ability to adapt. But if you're willing to put in the work, the rewards are there for the taking. You should be glad that it's hard because not many people will stick with it. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to sign up to Digital Ocean Deploy event, link below in the description.